So uh, I'm going to go through this one more time uh, uh, about what we have done here. We have plugged our mic input to the mic input port right here. This is the first channel and we have uh, plugged our headset here. Uh, we have plugged our main output from the mixer, the main out here, okay, right into the FireWire interface unbalanced input, right here, okay. The other port from the FireWire interface, the unbalanced output, right, we have using this cable, we have plugged that, plugged that into the fifth and sixth channel of the mixer right this is that channel so how this will work in practical term is when you're speaking into your microphone the signal will come to this port right and it will be it will the mixer will output that signal from this output right from this output right and you'll be able to hear yourself through your headset right through your headset you'll be able to hear yourself when you want to monitor uh, like uh, let's say uh, where you want to record a background music to your uh, uh, podcast a session or anything like that the the sound that is being output from the computer will come through this way will be mixed into your session right so you can control that with this volume control here okay so that means now if you are speaking into your microphone you can control your microphone volume from this and uh, you might want to notice this no little knob here this is the mic preamp knob the small knob here so you can control uh, your preamp volume and then uh, you can control your main output volume from this one and you can control the the sound output to your mix from this control right so I hope it's clear uh, you might want to use the comment section if it's anything is not clear for you so this is your basic uh, podcast. So as I mentioned, uh, so this is what I have done to my microphone. So it's not mounted to that small tripod uh, that I got uh, with my uh, podcast studio. Uh, I have a little altered everything and see uh, this is uh, uh, the Samsung shock mount and this is the C1 microphone. So I have extended this cable as you can see uh, usually with the podcast set you get uh, uh, about one one and a half, one one meter one and a half meter long cable so that's my microphone okay now what we are going to do is install the audio interface driver the firewire interface driver um, to my my computer so uh, first Behringer has not come up with a Windows 7 driver uh, for this interface. I'm really disappointed about that. But, uh, but I'm really glad uh, to a company, third-party company, they have done an audio driver for this uh, interface. So I'm going to set up that. What you have to do is first you have to unplug, uh, you know, disconnect your FireWire uh, from your audio card in. Right? So that that should uh, like you know so see I have not connected my FireWire interface yet uh, first what you have to do is uh, you have to unplug from this end uh, not from uh, the computer side just uh, remove the cable from this side and start the setup yeah so there you go right Okay. All 
right? I think something is happening in the background. You just have to carefully follow the ins uh, installation instructions and say install whenever it say uh, whenever it's inst to install and right so now it says uh, since you have disconnect or unplugged your Behringer sound interface right there it says uh, plug in the interface so in that point when it asks you you should plug the interface back in There you go. Came up and it's installing drivers. Yay! Bearing your audio successfully. And I'm gonna say next year. Yep. It says finish. Now we can just test our see it's there. Okay. Seems like it's working. So that's it with the driver installation guys. Uh, I'll see whether I can find the link to that Windows 7 driver. Uh, if anyone who's expertise in Macintosh or iMac or any 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 of uh, Apple platforms, please do help. Uh, if anyone has questions on that uh, uh, platform, on the comment section below. Okay, so here we go. Uh, everything powered up, plugged in nicely to my computer. So as you can see, the bright color blue LED says that firewire is active and the red color LED says it's powered up and here's my mixer the microphone is plugged in to the first channel and the output from the audio firewire interface is plugged into my fifth and sixth channel and my headphone headset is plugged into the headset port right here and my main output which is the input to the firewire interface is plugged here right here so i want to mention uh, one thing about these two ports uh, the the two ports right below the headset port you can use that port to uh, maybe connect a, a monitor uh, to your setup so in case if you want to monitor your uh, sessions or anything like that you can use this uh, definitely you'll have to use self-powered uh, monitors so I want to uh, mention one more thing if you're using the C1 microphone make sure you switch on this button right here what this will do is the switch on the phantom power uh, that will actually boost the audio and it will power the C1 microphone uh, where it will be able to uh, give you good audio. So I'm not going to explain the technical terms about this, any of this. So as you can see, uh, this green LED, the spectrum here uh, shows the waveform that I'm speaking. So, uh, so that's it. And Hey guys, so... Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna demonstrate what I was talking about earlier on this video I told you that you can speak uh, through the microphone and mix audio into that so I'm gonna demonstrate that so how you can do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play something through my VLC player right here and I'm gonna record my voice 
with that background music played by the VLC uh, with the Nundo. So I'm going to use Nundo. From this point onwards, I'm going to switch from my camera microphone to this uh, C1 microphone I have set up right here. So it's right here. There you go. So uh, here I'm going to start the recording session. Yes, that you you can see my voice being recorded uh, on a new window, and I'm gonna play my music track on VLC. Now I'm gonna mix that audio into this session. Yeah, are you like that? Yes, that's what I was talking about. So now, as you can see my audio is being recorded with the background music which is played uh, through the VLC right here so so that's it so you are almost here and you all if you go if you have ever set up everything properly as I mentioned uh, it should work properly and if you have anything any problem or anything you want to ask please use the comment section and ask I will get back to you as soon as possible uh, I'm in a bit a little a uh, little bit of a busy schedule this this but I promise I promise I will get back to you as soon as possible and uh, I'm on Twitter I'm on Facebook I'm on Google Plus you can connect you can contact me through any of those medias please follow the links below uh, you can find me there and thank you so much for watching this video I hope it helped you and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.